Why do socialists want to destroy Western civilization and Christianity? A provocative question, isn't it? To delve into it first, we need to understand what we're talking about. Socialism, an ideology that advocates for collective or governmental ownership and administration of means of production. Western civilization, a heritage of social norms, ethical values, traditional customs, belief systems, and political systems associated with the Western world. Christianity, the world's largest religion based on the life and teachings of Jesus Christ. Our goal? To contrast these principles. Stay tuned to find out if this is a mere conspiracy theory or a reality. First, take a deep dive into the principles of socialism. Socialism, in its broadest sense, is a political and economic theory that advocates for the means of production, distribution, and exchange to be owned and controlled by the community as a whole. The primary focus here is on the collective rather than individual interests, with the ultimate goal of achieving equality among all members of society. One of the underlying fundamentals of socialism is the equitable distribution of wealth. This principle stems from the belief that all wealth is collectively produced by society, and thus, should be shared equally among its members. This is contrasted with capitalism, where wealth is distributed based on individual contribution and market forces. Another key element of socialism is public ownership. In a socialist system, critical sectors of the economy, like healthcare, education and utilities, are owned and controlled by the state or the community. This public ownership is intended to ensure that these sectors operate in the best interest of all, rather than for the profit of a few. Socialism is also rooted in the principle of equality. It seeks to eliminate the class distinctions that arise from economic disparities. In a perfect socialist system there would be no billionaires while others struggle to meet their basic needs. Instead, everyone would have equal access to the resources and opportunities they need to thrive. At its philosophical roots, socialism is deeply concerned with communal welfare. It emphasizes the importance of cooperation, mutual aid, and solidarity, seeing these as the keys to a just and harmonious society. In this view, individual success is tied to the success of the community as a whole. But it's crucial to remember that socialism is a broad spectrum that encompasses a wide range of ideologies, each with their own interpretations of these principles. From democratic socialism to revolutionary socialism, the specifics can vary, but the core focus on communal welfare and equality remains consistent. So the essence of socialism lies in equality, communal welfare, and state control. Now let's contrast this with the principles of Western civilization and Christianity. Western civilization, a term often used to describe societies influenced by European cultures, is grounded in three key principles, democracy, individualism, and capitalism. Democracy, the bedrock of Western civilization, is a system of government where power is vested in the people, who rule either directly or through elected representatives. It emphasizes equality and the fundamental rights of individuals, embodying the principle of government of the people, by the people, for the people. Next, we have individualism, a cornerstone of Western thought. It champions the rights and liberties of the individual, asserting that each person has inherent value and should have the freedom to pursue their own goals and happiness. This principle places the individual at the center of society, underscoring the importance of personal autonomy and self-expression. Capitalism, the economic system of the West, is predicated on free market principles where businesses and industries are owned and controlled by private individuals or corporations, not the state. It promotes competition, innovation, and economic growth, fostering an environment where individuals can thrive. Switching gears, let's delve into the principles of Christianity. Christianity is centered around faith, hope, and charity. Faith, in the Christian context, is more than mere belief. It's a deep-seated confidence in God and His promises. Hope, another key Christian principle, is a confident expectation of what God will do in the future. It's not a wishful thinking, but a firm assurance about things that are unseen and yet to come. Charity or love is the greatest Christian virtue. It's a selfless love that seeks the good of others without expecting anything in return. This principle extends to all human beings regardless of their faith, race, or status. Lastly, Christianity places a strong emphasis on individual salvation. It teaches that each person is responsible for their own spiritual journey, highlighting the importance of personal faith and repentance. 
Clearly, Western civilization and Christianity uphold individualism, democratic values, and free market capitalism. Now that we understand these principles, it's time to explore why socialists might want to destroy Western civilization and Christianity. Let's delve into the inherent conflicts between the principles of socialism and those of Western civilization and Christianity. You see, at the heart of socialism is a focus on communal welfare. Society is seen as a collective body that should work together for everyone's benefit. Now this clashes with the Western principle of individualism. Western societies, particularly those influenced by capitalism, place a high value on personal freedom and individual achievement. They celebrate the self-made success stories and encourage competition. The socialist idea of communal welfare can seem at odds with capitalism's emphasis on individual prosperity. It challenges the idea that wealth should be concentrated in the hands of a few who have made it, instead suggesting that wealth should be distributed more evenly among the people who collectively contribute to society. What about Christianity? How does socialism clash with its principles? Well, Christianity is centered on the concept of individual salvation. The idea that each person is responsible for their own spiritual journey and their relationship with God. This is a deeply personal and individualistic journey, which can seem at odds with socialism's focus on the collective. Moreover, socialism emphasizes earthly equality, aiming to create a society where everyone has equal access to resources and opportunities. This is a stark contrast to the Christian belief that earthly life is temporary and that the true reward awaits in the afterlife. The focus on improving conditions in this life, which is central to socialism, could be seen as conflicting with the Christian emphasis on the next life. So when we talk about socialists wanting to destroy Western civilization and Christianity, it's important to understand that this is not about literal destruction. It's about challenging established norms and principles. It's about questioning whether the current systems truly serve everyone's best interests. So it's not about destruction, but a conflict of principles and values. In conclusion, the question we started with is quite polarizing. To recap, we've delved into the heart of socialism, Western civilization and Christianity, and found that they each hold unique principles and values. It's not about one side wanting to destroy the other, but rather a clash of these differing principles. The perceived threat is a manifestation of this clash. Remember, understanding these differences can be the first step towards dialogue and coexistence. Thanks for watching.